Okay, ticks and samples. The reason we're not going to get involved with frames and quarter frames for the snap is because they are very specific to video. All right, so you don't need to deal with those at all. Just completely ignore them. Okay, now first of all, ticks. Now, if Logic has got no MIDI quantize uh, uh, set at all, so that when you play into it and record MIDI, it's not quantizing what you're playing at all. The finest resolution that Logic has is 3840 ticks per bar. And if I open the inspector column with the I key, see there, quantize off 3840 up there, yeah. That's the maximum fineness of MIDI resolution when Logic has no quantize switched on, all right? So I'll just press the I key to hide that inspector column. So if you're using ticks, the finest resolution that you can move now when you, the snap is set to now and you move something around is ticks, but ticks are zoom dependent. So if I zoom right out, look, I am moving this by smaller movements than the division. Actually, I'll set the, div oops, I'll set the division back to 16 so by just dragging down on it. There you go. Um, so I'm now moving definitely smaller than 16, but I'm not moving by one single tick at a time. I'm moving by 69, 93, I'm moving about uh, 30 ticks every time I move it. Something like that, okay? If I zoom in, it becomes finer resolution. And now I'm moving it in ticks, and I'm moving it like one tick, eight ticks, another eight ticks, another eight ticks. So I'm moving it now by about eight ticks every time it jumps, okay? And zoom in even further. And now I'm moving it by 45, 41, by about four or three ticks every time I move it. Yeah? And then when I zoom right in, I get a finer resolution and I can now move it by individual ticks. Look, 27, 26, 25, etc. Okay. So that's how ticks works. It's a fine level of resolution and it's zoom dependent. The more you zoom in, the finer that snap becomes until you get down to individual ticks. The other thing that's a very fine resolution is samples, and again, you would never use that unless you are trying to line up um, a couple of little audio things, and you are trying to line them up to be, you know, almost sample perfect. It's it's the finest amount of um, snap resolution that Logic has samples. Okay, and again, it's zoom dependent. So if I zoom out, I can see my sixteenth markers. Look, there's four, 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 and four of them. Yeah. So if I move it around now with samples selected for my snap, it's snapping to samples, but it's jumping in blocks of multiple samples. I'm still snapping smaller than 16ths, look, because like that there, that between this line and that line there, is 1 16th, this little bit. So look, I'm obviously moving it smaller snap than a 16th, but it's jumping 66, 71. It's not, it's not, it's jumping in chunks of samples, all right? So again, that's zoom dependent. If I zoom right in, eventually the display will start to show frame hours, minutes, frames, seconds, and samples underneath there. And then I'm moving it now at eight samples every time. Zoom in even finer, and at full zoom, you then get individual sample movement. But I'm zoomed way in now, right? All right. So I'm saying, don't use ticks as a beginner or samples unless absolutely necessary because you can get into some serious problems using them and I'll show you what one of those problems is now all right I'll select ticks again all right now if I zoom right into the beginning of this region it's right exactly on the beginning of bar 4 let me zoom out now Okay, so let's say I've got ticks selected as my snacks I want some I want to move something finely so I just move it a little bit like that Da 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 da, and I do something to it, whatever. There it is. And then I zoom out a bit, and then a little bit further on, I think, okay, I want to snap that back to the beginning of bar four now. So I drag it across and I go, there we are, it's exactly on the beginning of bar four. I mean, it looks to be, doesn't it? So now I zoom in. And you know what? Ironically, I've actually have put it at the beginning of bar four. But all right, let me let me let me show you that one more time. What what I'm trying to show you is that you can go across like that and drop it at the beginning of the bar there. be zoomed in a bit more right so all right so I drag it across and I kind of go right there you go it's on the beginning of bar one I mean the bar four 
want to zoom out yeah it definitely looks like it's on bar 4 but as I zoom in I see that it's not it's a little bit behind you see so the danger is when you're using ticks you can then sort of drag something and go right well I'll whack that on bar 4 like that and, and, it, and it looks like it is but it's not it's now forward of bar 4 right when you zoom in okay so the problem is then if you start copying and appending regions to the end of this that one will be out and then the next one that you append on the end of that will be out and it gets more and more out so this can this can cause huge problems for the timing of your track that's why never work with ticks or samples unless you really really have to all right um, and the problem also occurs then that if you've got this sort of slight sort of off the beat by some weird amount and then you go back to like beat and you think alright I now need to snap it to bar 4 but we haven't got snap to absolute value on so we're moving things around by the selected snap so when I move it it moves by a beat and it's now just in front of beat 3 move it back again by a beat and it's now in front of beat 4 move it back by a beat and it's now in front of um, the first beat of bar 5, right? See what I mean? So again, it's in front of beat 2 there, now it's in front of beat 3, now it's in front of beat 4. See what I mean? It's moving it by a bar, and I can't get the damn thing to snap to the beginning of bar 4. So remember, you've got to change this to snap to absolute value, and then we're moving it to the snap value, not by the snap value, and now I can snap it to any of the beats, including the beginning of bar 4. All right. So just be really, really careful when you're using ticks and samples to move things around. All right, And I'll now show you a little technique to use if you do have to use ticks and samples to line up, say, two different things in a couple of regions.